Guns, guns, get up, get up. Uh, Gotta go to work. We're off for two weeks. Jonathan Majors found guilty, dude. What? Let's go. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about it. it. So Jonathan Majors, he's guilty. <laughs> what the hell, man? Yeah. What? Dude, I, okay. We're starting off hot. I thought, dude, I swear to you, I'm okay. I'm not to judge. I'm not to jury. But everything that was laid out on the table, I was like, this guy's he's clean. He's good. He's good to go. And then mm-hmm. they released the actual footage of him being chased down the street and the one where he's, he's shot it. Yeah. You saw that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. I saw that. Dude, this fool ran blocks. <laughs> I'm talking like <laughs> city blocks and yeah, Jesus, you sent Bolt right after him. Yeah, but then he screwed. But when he started shoving the girl Jabari into the van, I'm like, oh, that doesn't that doesn't look good. And sure enough, that's what they bust him for. They let me see. I got I got some notes over here. One second. He was was found guilty of two charges: reckless assault of the third degree. Uh, this implies he acted recklessly in a way that caused physical injury to his former girlfriend and harassment. This is a non-criminal violation for engaging in conduct that annoys or alarms another person. He was acquitted of two charges, assault of the second degree. This requires pr- proving that he intentionally caused physical injury and aggravated harassment. This required proving he intentionally harassed his ex-girlfriend in a way that could be considered serious physical harm or alarm. Uh, Therefore, the jury deemed his actions were reckless and caused harm, but they did not find evidence of his intention to directly inflict injury or significantly harass his ex-girlfriend. The sentencing for these charges is scheduled for February 6, 2024. So so what's going to happen to him, dude? Like, okay, like I get it's kind of bad that uh, he was shoving her in I get it. It's frustration. Mm-hmm. It's she was chasing him down. I'm sure the dude was yeah, mad. I agree. Like I'm sure he was mad. Mm-hmm. But man, if she was chasing him down, like he was trying to avoid any conflict. He tried. What do you think of it, dude? Dude, I I've had a run in with the law and everything and mm-hmm. dealing with the court system and everything. It's a rebel. Uh, uh the courts are already stacked against him. It doesn't matter if it's self defense, if he's running for his life. The fact that it's a female Versus him, white white female mm-hmm. it, at that. It, it, wow. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it doesn't matter. But the courts are already stacked against him. It doesn't matter if he did the right thing or not. He's going to be guilty no matter what, which he is now. Yeah. But dude, like I, I, I'm with B- Bogus Bird here, dude. I thought it was clean whistle. Everything was going to be fine. But it was a few weeks ago those those text messages came out leaking that his other ex got like an altercation with him and avoided police and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, oh, yeah, man. yep, that's not good. No. He's got two no. of these now. It's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, it seems like the guy's a he's hot got head, a dude. history. So it's definitely going to come out. And it did. It's not good as far as what's going to happen to him might see a month or two in jail who knows probably not because he's famous yeah. but his acting career is over for a few years probably yeah you think I, so I, I, he's I gonna come a back few years uh, nope. probably two or three years tops no more kang mm, okay yeah, yeah kang's already been canceled that's he did. or not necessarily kang kang dynasty the movie's already been changed dr doom they, they might bring <laughs> dr doom or they might recast i'm not 100 percent sure but his acting career is over for at least two, maybe three years. I mean, mm-hmm. look what they did with Mel Gibson over the whole Jewish comment and stuff. Okay. They roasted mm, him. Yeah. He, didn't, he still did a handful of movies here and there, but it took a good 10 years before he came back full swing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it sucks, just, man. He made a mistake twice. Well, Bad. Well, that There's no of. excuse. There's no excuse. Yeah, exactly. There's no <laughs> excuse for it. And oh, uh, is that still considered a mistake if it's twice? No, no. The same thing. No, you got. He's got. He's got a problem. He needs to seek help. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree. And so does Jonathan Majors. Like I said, the dude seems like a hothead. There's been reports about him like being aggressive on set and all this. Then with his now ex girlfriend, and then the previous ex girlfriend too. Something's going on in that head of his. If he wants to continue on a career path that he was on, he needs to seek help. 
It's a real shame. The guy's young, and like you said, he's he's mm-hmm. gonna be out for a while. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? Yeah, or or who knows? He might not get canned. Like I'm sure he's getting canned from mm-hmm. Disney. Oh yeah, you know, by they've already canned him. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. They, so, but who's to say that nobody else is going to give him a job? He might make a quick comeback. It, he might be out for like six months or a year. Yeah. But the way, like, when Kanye, you know, said some anti-Semitic stuff, Adidas dropped him real quick. I think it was Adidas that he was with, right? But he's still making albums. People are still listening to his music. People are still mm-hmm. supporting him. Like, who's to say nowadays? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't know. Maybe guns. You, maybe you got your you got your wish. Maybe you'll get Doctor Doom. Mm. Maybe a recast. What? What? In you guys' mm-hmm. opinion, what do you think is the best move going forward? Do you recast them just like they did a Rhodey or or uh, General Ross? I don't I think mean, they can recast know. it that easily. Rhodey was like a side character, like he wasn't a main character, like the main villain, like he is. He, he here he has a big face. I think. No, yeah, yeah, but there, but because it's in the multiverse saga, yeah. they could very easily just bring someone else. Like, hey, this is another version of Kang. <laughs> I don't. They already showed the Kang freaking what? What do you call they it? They showed like a million Kangs. Yeah, all with, all with the major face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. that was just the right side of the room. The left side of the room is, is the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you, you see R D J over there with, with a little bit of. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they oh, no. reshoot it for like. <laughs> it's no. dropping thunder. <laughs> no. Man, uh, I'm on fire tonight, man. Dude. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a dude playing another dude. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, I don't the point, man. <laughs> Suck by you, dude. All right. Uh, uh, I honestly think they need to recast them. They've already invested yeah. so much in the Kang. Recast them. Don't do what you did with Black Panther and just kill the character off with COVID or whatever the hell it was. Uh, recast, you know, recast them. You've already spent all this time. Get a good actor. Replace them. Go with it. Yeah. Next time they show the syndicate, I'm I'm sure they could pepper in a couple more actors in there and be like, oh, yeah, these are other kings that are also wanting to take over. And one of them, mm-hmm. like, th- I think that would be the easiest solution. It's just like show the syndicate again, show that there's different Kangs, there's different versions of Kang that look different. And I don't know. But I think that would be the easiest okay, route. But what about the other side of the coin? Doctor Doom is the main antagonist in the comics for Secret Wars. <laughs> Bring him in. I do agree that they've invested a lot into Kang, but it's still, I feel like early enough, they can still bring oh, yeah. in Doctor Doom and build him up to Secret Wars. That's the thing they should do yeah, with Agent K said a while five. back. I think if you really wanted to go that route, have Doom come in, knock down Kang a few pegs, lock him up, throw away the key, and now Doom is taken over. I think that would be a pretty good route if, you know, that also shows that Doom, how powerful Doom can be. But if Kang was supposed to be the next Avengers level yeah. threat and Doom just comes in and kicks the door down. That that's pretty cool. Yeah. Who knows what's gonna happen? But as far as Jonathan Majors, I guess we'll find out what happens to him in February, and <laughs> we'll see what happens with Kang officially. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it sucks, dude. It <laughs> yeah. sucks. Yeah. I, you know what? What else we need to see if they have a future? Who's that? It's the Netflix adaptation. Oh, of oh. you, you, oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh and that, okay, the Bent. one, Bent. Bent. the only. <sighs> Horrible. Oh, God. Horrible. What is he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> He's stripping. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> A few moments later. Yu Yu Hakusho. Spoiler free. Spoiler free. Okay, I do enjoy the anime series. I watched it okay. way back when. I've rewatched it on Hulu a few years back. I do enjoy it. I have my gripes with it. I feel like a majority of the seasons are tournaments which I'm not a fan mm-hmm. of. I do like the tournaments, but like for every season, it's like, come on, dude, give me something different. And then okay. the live action adaptation comes out and they do away with these tournaments. They go straight into, they do like three seasons and five episodes. It is it's because yep. they're listening, man. <clears throat> Somebody's it listening is, to you. It's, it's highly condensed. It's very, very sped up. I, I want to say towards the end of the live version, it's it feels rushed. It feels very rushed. And But 
I still found enjoyment in it. I'm not going to lie. The first couple episodes were kind of slow. They were building the story. There's a lot of story to, to build with Yu Yu Hakusho. And the best way I can put it, it's Japan. It's just Japan doing what Japan does. And they got to set up, oh, this this guy's alive. He's There's demons. He's got to learn. How, you know, like, it's a lot going on. And they, they kind of okay. take their time telling and setting up the pillars. And then they decide to rush everything. And, and, and for me, as just trying to watch this as it is, just as a show on Netflix, I don't know if I would have watched past episode two. <laughs> it was very slow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Minarm. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say Minarm got some more oh, yeah. to say. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get <laughs> right. once you get past episode two, it's like okay, they're they're kicking it off. They they got the Sailor Scout versus the Ninja guy. They got they had Super Shredder fighting off against Three Eyes, and and, <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately because they're so quick and condensed, these characters are background characters. They don't they don't mean anything. They're supposed to be these these top guys henchmen, but they just they're just guys to fight. They just turn out to be a couple nobodies. And, I, and I'm just about to eat my words here. In the tournament, at least it builds up these characters. It builds up, how, it shows you how strong they were comparably to the beginning, and, and they worked mm-hmm. their way up. Yep. So it does feel very rushed. It does feel very like, whoa, that's not supposed to, that doesn't make sense. Right. And, and I'm, I'm just trying to watch this. I'm trying not to compare it to the anime series. I, I, but again, I found it enjoyable, but it's still like uh, a few things that just didn't, makes sense to me wait wait hold you told me 10 out of 10 <laughs> best netflix adaptation to date better than one piece i was, oh, right here. Oh, I was trolling oh, oh. <laughs> hey, 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 I, I got, to, I I got the proof baby Ooh. oh yeah i was trolling <laughs> i was trolling my arm hard <laughs> dude go ahead Minar. what would you think about it so I've only maybe seen like one or two like episodes of the anime back in the day. So okay. not my thing. Couldn't get into it. Just one of those things. Never could never get into it. Well, I was gonna give this the two, three episode rule course and saw it on Netflix. I'm like, hell yeah. So here we go. <laughs> Popped in first episode. I made it like I, I like I told Bogus Bird, I sent him a text while I was watching it. I got about 15 minutes in. The first 10 minutes, I was done. <laughs> it is so... 10 minutes. Yes, but I was at the 15-minute marker when I was texting. I'm like, dude, the, the show is too slow. Or, or I shouldn't say too slow. There's too much stuff going on at once. Mm-hmm. It's like too much information they're trying to give to you with no... It's ex- overwhelming. Yes, with no explanation, really. And it's overwhelming. And it's just like, what in the... You know, what am I watching? <laughs> I finished the first episode. I will not be watching the second episode. I almost fell asleep. Damn. I was bored out of my mind. It was so confusing, and it just it was not appealing to me. And like Bogus Bird said, if you're, not, if you're not caught up on the anime and stuff like that, you could probably see where someone that just turns it on would probably lose interest real quick. I Ten minutes. I was I was done in ten minutes, but I forced myself to finish the episode. Wow. Okay. And just for for reference, you did the same thing with One Piece, the anime, right? Like you you went into oh, yeah. it blind. For the anime, you were not familiar with the show. You jumped straight into the live adaptation and and highly enjoyed that. Yes. Just for now, reference. One, yep. One Piece. Honestly, I've never seen a single episode. I've caught like snippets here and there, but I've never seen an f- episode at all in my life. Gotcha. Jumped into One okay. Piece. Thinking, you know, oh my god, it's going to be the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was great. Mm-hmm. Okay, but um, I can't watch the anime quick, though. Quick, all right, quick, quick little side note. I don't know if you heard. The Netflix is going to make, I guess, a new One Piece anime. So hopefully, it should be like a condensed mm-hmm. down version of the anime. So hopefully, kind of like Dragon Ball Kai Dragon Ball did Kai. to Dragon Ball yeah. Z. Yeah. So maybe if if you want to give that one a shot as the anime, maybe it can hit a little bit better. But if not, and, and I'm not talking to you, Minar, I'm not talking to you, BB. I know you are pretty set on hating One Piece, but as a listener, if you're not into it yet, 
but it might be a good time to jump in with a Netflix adaptation. But with that being said, back to you, you Hakusho. Mm -hmm. I definitely can see what you're talking about, Minarum. Being overwhelmed. I've read through the manga a couple of times. I've watched the series probably more than I can count on my fingers now. Ooh. It's a great series. It's one of my favorites. Does it count? Or, or the, actually, um, I mean, you can't count pros, so. That's what I'm just, saying. How does that work? Look, look, look. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> four, nine, Six, number three, my lord. seven. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, like, I've seen it a lot. I've read it a few times. And. The reason I was able to keep up so much was, like you said, I'm I'm a thorough watcher. I've read it. I know what's going on. I know what's supposed to happen. And, like, I know when they're making references to or when they're trying to explain something with which they don't really do a good job of mm-hmm. explaining. I'm able to keep up because I'm familiar right. with it. But if I were to come in new, I wouldn't know what's going on. Right. Like, he randomly, okay, he turns into a ghost. Okay, cool. Now there's this. Spoiler free. Spoiler like, free. Oh, yeah, I was about to say. Mm, I'm, I'm going to keep that for later. I can definitely see where you're coming from. As a newcomer, I can definitely see why you would want to stop at episode one. I almost wanted to stop at episode Ooh, one. My brother. <laughs> Guns, your thoughts? Okay, so I also agree with you guys. It felt rushed. Because I also have seen the anime quite a few times. More than I can count on my hands. Oh, you can't count either, bro. Damn. <laughs> but on a good note, I would say the action was actually pretty decent. For me, at least. Yeah, I, I did like I, that too. I, I felt like, for some reason, I felt there were most of the actors no parkour. Because they're like jumping off the walls. Yeah, yeah. The accuracy for the characters was a lot better than I thought initially. Like how they look. The only one I didn't like, if anything, was still Kuwabara and Hiei. Karama was a lot better than I thought he was going to be. And basically, you guys already explained everything else on the spoiler-free version. But I just, I, okay. I just had to add that just because I didn't want to give it a full 100% like thumbs down. I'm going to disagree okay. on one thing. Kuwabara, that's my boy. That's my favorite character. It ruined him. That, that dude is way too pretty. His pompadour was like tiny. And, like, part of his charm is the guy's not good looking, but he's, like, got his, ding, those moments. He's a yeah. gentleman, kind of. Yeah, like, you yeah. just kind of like his character. And, Th- that's why yeah. I said it. I, I, I couldn't agree with Kuwabara or Hiei, man. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was just way too pretty. And that third eye looked yeah. funky. Like, there's no way. I don't know if it's just unnatural looking, but a third eye there, just no matter where, how many times that they tried in other sources, it just looks weird to me. All right, spoiler guys. If oh, you... All right. Well, I guess let, let's. I guess let's start with spoilers. I, say, I yeah. took the liberty to write on a few pros and cons. Right, right. I have more cons than I have pros. Minarum, are you going to watch the show? Do you mm-hmm. care if we <laughs> spoil the rest <laughs> of this for you? I'll, I'll give it. Guano. All right. <laughs> all right. It was dude. It was that bad. I'm done. I, I'm not going back. All right. Like you, even the stupid zombie fight or whatever. And I'm like, okay. Use your spirit <laughs> attack. I'm like. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. I'm done. All right. Spoilers going forward. We do have timestamps down below if you want to jump around. But don't, 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 don't leave. Just stick around. Shoot. Starting off, for me, some of the CGI was actually pretty solid. Let's say, like, when the bug, I guess the ringworm of death or whatever the, they called mm-hmm. it, um, CGI was okay. Some of the, the demons that they showed later, the Goki. The Kyukon Ki. The, the red guy? The one that he... The red guy? The what? Yeah, the red guy. His fight was pretty legit. He, he yeah, looked pretty good. Dope. Parkour. Yeah. The action was pretty good going on with uh, Goki. Mm-hmm. Um, the action was pretty good in the first couple episodes, although like their 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 dialogue was, like you said, Minarm, was really cheesy. <laughs> um, bro, like if it was straight action, okay, cool. I might be into it a little bit more. But their dialogue... I hated it, bro. <laughs> it fell super flat for me. I liked how they gave an explanation on the freaking runaway driver who killed Yusuke in the very beginning. Oh, Instead yeah. Of, yeah. I, I like how they freaking made that bug thing the reason. And, like, he, he's just drunk or whatever. Right. 
Like they're adding on to the story. Yeah, I, I like that part. They at least gave it a reason. Yeah. But plus, I, I do like also that like when you come in and you see the driver, he's listening to Smile Bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I caught yeah. that. that. That was that's pretty cool. the theme yeah. song. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, that's the opening theme song that they have for the yeah, anime. I was totally the Leo. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did that too. My wife was like, yes, I know. I was like, what do you though? And but, um, I, I think the thing I hated the most was Botan. Very disappointed. Oh, Very yes! I was going to say that too. disappointed. My heart was broken. Dude. She, she was, I she was hated not hot. Botan. Dude. One of them. No, one. like her personality. <laughs> dude. Dude, I hated her personality. Like she, she's supposed to be, I don't know, like up and like positive, and I, I just, I found her more annoying than anything else. Mm-hmm. I've hated Botan. What was the the, the guy's name? Junior? Yeah, Kuenma. Kuenma. Okay, so I, him, I, I didn't, I didn't like how they started him as an adult instead yeah. of a freaking baby. Well, I don't mind that they started as an adult, but they didn't explain why he did, had a pacifier in his mouth, like. I mean, I mean, he's true. I don't think he's an adult with a pacifier. Like that doesn't make sense. In the anime, they yeah. explain it why, but like in here, he was just a grown man with a pacifier. But it was weird. It's like, tell me why yeah. it's in there. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it, it just so just little things that they bypassed and didn't make sense for for whoever's yeah. not familiar with the with the anime. They're like human arm. You saw that. You're like, who the hell is the the guy with the pacifier? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like. It, mm-hmm. it just didn't make sense to me. Yeah. Oh, another thing I did like was how they kind of explained how they separated the demon and the human world in the beginning. Yeah. It, it with as much information that they're trying to throw at you, I think that was one of the good things that they did. It's not a pro that I wrote down, but now that you bring it up, I think yeah, it, it is a pro. Although it wasn't necessary, I don't think it was the most necessary because they kind of touched on it later in the series as well. Mm-hmm. I think the last pro that I have is. One of the best scenes is Yusuke getting running over. Get, getting run oh, over. dude, the freaking it, it looked legit, dude. When the freaking box truck went over him, yeah, yeah, do, 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 do. yeah dude. I, I rewound that like three <laughs> times, <laughs> like just to get see him get hit. Yeah, like yeah, it looked cool. It looked cool. I liked how it looked. K, K yeah. was like, yeah, he dead. He dead, dead. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> dude. Yeah, like, and, and it's cool because like it. Shows him like get pushed back, and then the truck comes and like rom- rolls mm-hmm. over him. You see the body rolling and all that. It's not like one of the ones like on TV where like the tires just go over like a flat, yeah, yeah. board. Yeah, like you see the body rolling. It, I think it was really cool. It looked legit. But with that, I think that's my last pro. I got a pro for you. I really like when that kid got possessed with the demon with mm-hmm. the little bug in his okay. ear. Like I don't know what it mm-hmm. is, man. Like. Japan, Korea, all these Asian countries, they know how to do zombies. I know he wasn't a zombie, oh, but like yeah. he was acting like a Yeah. Like he was like, oh, like mo- the way he moved, like all oh, yeah. yeah, it looked badass. He looked tight. It looked freaky okay. and that looks demonic. Like I, I really like the way they, they do that. Like, I did like that. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. It was yeah. pretty cool. But then another thing that they didn't right. explain was once they managed to get that bug out of that kid, is he like the toxic avenger now? That kid was deformed, his eye was like up here. <laughs> No, oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they don't explain anything. <laughs> like, what happened to that kid? You know, is he forever scarred, or does he go back to normal? Yeah, or? yeah like his hand went back to normal. But yeah, you're right, and that's one of the, one thing that I was gonna bring up a little bit right now. But yeah, his face was still deformed. His eye was like up yeah. on his forehead, and like the other one was like looking to his like like a chameleon. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he was pretty yeah, messed man. up. <sighs> All right, throwing in the con. I don't like how they skipped over Rando and the Four Saint Beasts, even though the bugs was mm. for the Four Saint Beasts. Mm. And yeah. Yusuke didn't even fight he ate properly. So I feel like I said it before the series came out, and Guns, you were like, oh, maybe Togoro comes in at the end of the series. I kind of already figured that was not going to be the case. Dude, they sp- skipped so much content. Mm. And with all of this skipping around, I, I guess this comes up with another one of my cons. You don't build any relationships with any of the I characters. Agree. Well, I just felt like they made Kobara and Yusuke like buddy buddies, like instantly with just like one meeting instead of like them fighting the whole time and him hating them. And then eventually like, OK, this guy's not giving up. He he has some fighting number mm-hmm. and you give him respect for that. 
like in the anime. Yeah, and kind of like how you said, BB, even skipping the tournament arcs, I, I get that you don't want to do tournament arcs. That's cool with me. If you want to change it up a little bit, I don't think tournaments would work in live action as well as they do with the anime. So I, I completely understand that. But with that being said, you went from fighting a, a bug, essentially, to fighting what was supposed to be the baddest guy on Earth mm-hmm. at the time. And like you don't really get a feel for how strong he is because you don't have these other enemies to build up. You don't have all these other enemies that kind of show, okay, there was a struggle here. But now Togoro, he's like miles ahead of mm-hmm. them. You kind of just jump in and it's like, okay, here's this guy. And he he seems kind of strong. So let's go beat him up. Well, one thing that I also didn't like Togoro, like, I, okay, first of all, the, the the guy who played him, I think he did. He looks he looked pretty damn good in the role. I liked him. He looked pretty good. Uh, but what I didn't like was, okay, like in the anime series, here I am comparing. But like in the anime series, Togoro pulls a Frieza. He's like, I'm at 20%. I'm at 30%. Oh, I'm going to go up to Mm -hmm. 60 for you. And he takes off his jacket like, all right, 80%. You know, like (laughs) like they they build him up trying to make him look like he's a real threat. And then here he was just like, all right, 30. Boom. He just gets like super big. And then he goes from 30 to like, all right, I'm going 100%. Or I don't think he even says 100%. He's just like, all right, try to transform. He turns into into the tree from Guardians of the Galaxy. Groot. Yeah. <laughs> Groot? Yeah, that's those. Groot, yeah. yeah. Groot, yes. <laughs> wow. Bro. Well, yeah, man. Um, uh, I, 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 I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, it, it looks nasty. And that, that's another thing. Like, as the series progresses, their CGI gets worse. Yes. Oh, really? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, at the beginning, like that bug infested guy, the guy who turns into a zombie. He looks legit. His his hand transforms, his face gets deformed, and it looks believable. And then you have Togoro. He he beefs up and he's he's full CGI. He looks like the Flash kind of CGI. <laughs> yeah. And there was Yeah, the the scene where Kurama's fighting Karasu, the guy with the explosions. When Kurama's jumping around, dude, it looks nasty. I don't know if you paid attention to it. It looks nasty. It looks like the Flash saving the baby. Oh, that oh, bad? God. It looked almost no. that bad. Yes, to me... I, I, I want to say dude, that bad. And I wasn't even was looking noticeable. for it. I, I, was focused, I was focusing on the fight. I wasn't looking at the CGI, but I was like, oh, that looks nasty, dude. And my wife was like, yeah, you can finish the series by yourself, dude. <laughs> wow. She walked out. Ouch. Damn. That's a slam yeah. dunk right there. <laughs> yeah. Dude. <laughs> Dude, Yoko Kurama. Yeah. Get it I, out I of here. Like the way it looked, looked like looked like ass. Yeah. Oh, oh. I do like that they brought in the Ojigi plant, but I mean well, let's 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 I be mean, realistic. Okay, you know what he looks like in that transformed state. There's no way that was right. going to look good. No no matter what. No, no, and, and I get that, but you're talking about the girl Kurama, know, man, like, Kurama and, and when he turns into Kurama. the Yoko Fox, Yoko, uh-huh. whatever. Yeah. Know. And, and I get, but I don't know, man. They, they should have tried something else. And I get people are, dude, I'm, I'm on Facebook groups. People are butthurt about the entire thing. And you know you're upsetting fans already by how your characters look, by what you're doing with the series. You know you're ruining it already. You might as well just go the extra mile. Might as well change it up a little bit if it makes the character look a little bit better. Even Dragon of the Darkness Flames let me down, dude. I, I didn't like how it looked. <sighs> You know what? Dragon of the Darkest Flame was not the worst thing. It didn't like, look great. He didn't even yell it out like he does. That's like, no, that's like I mean, <laughs> awesome, dude. Dude, Yusuke only at the very end yells Raygun. At the very end, the very last one. But I did like how they did like the, the camera following the dragon. That was pretty mm-hmm. cool. But that was about it. That's all I can say for that. That's not much redeeming I there. I did like two girls' glasses. They're over nine thousand. Yeah. They didn't break the whole time. <laughs> they, they did not break at all. <laughs> They're <Nah>. over nine thousand, <laughs> dude. I don't know what the hell they were made of. Yeah. They're, they're just indestructible, man. Uh, demon world yeah. material, man. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's some good stuff um, right there, man. <laughs> so okay, so I brought up the the no meaningful connections. 
to to the characters. Genkai shows up for 30 minutes, and I'm supposed to care about her. Okay, good point. Like, bro, she dies. I'm like, okay, good riddance. Get her <laughs> out of here. Like, in the anime, it hurts. But, like, in the series, you're like, okay, cool. She showed up for 30 minutes. How much does Yusuke really care mm-hmm. about her? Yeah, I, I didn't you like know? how almost instantly, like, after, like, five days, oh, here's the spirit wave. It's yours now. Yeah, and the spirit, the transfer of the spirit orb was so lackluster. Like, it was like, oh, this is mine now? Cool, thanks. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Uh, correction, it was like 21 days. They did do a, a time skip. Yeah, they did. Uh, but, I mean... But still, I know... Okay, wait, yeah, wait, you're, wait, you're, wait, you're wait, That amount of training, that orb would destroy him. Yeah. It would obliterate him. Yeah, dude, like... Like, I, I get it. It's 20 days. You're homies. You're cool. You spent three weeks together. But, like... <laughs> All right, see you later, dudes. Take care of yourself. Probably never see you again. And, and I will you know? also add that the orb thing was like, what what just happened? What What is it? Yeah. What does mm-hmm. it do? What's the purpose of mm-hmm. her giving it to him? They don't explain any of that. She's just like, right. here you go. Thanks. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Be, be sure to take care of yourself and keep on motivating yourself. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. So bad. Dude, I'm loving all this hate. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Man. I'm like, not like, like, feed me. It's like a one out of ten right now. I'm loving it. <laughs> no, no, no. We are definitely tearing it apart. But, I, again, I did find enjoyment out of it. Overall, yeah, if you muscle through the first two episodes that are, like, so much information, just because I've watched the anime, I understand what's happening, but... Like I, mm-hmm. I could definitely understand why someone new to the series would drop off, but oh, I, well, I but, just heard. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, but I did enjoy it. It was okay. Hmm. It was all right. Mm. I, it wasn't great. It wasn't the worst. It was pretty bad though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I I also did not like how they combined the Dark World Tournament with the Yukina arc. How were they supposed to be saving uh, her? And then all of a sudden, they're doing like the tournament, just like you said. They had to fight yeah. the freaking Team Siguro, just like that. Yeah. Honestly, it feels like they knew they weren't going to get a second season. So they might as well go balls to the wall. <laughs> and, and, and no, and, and I'm, I'm serious. Damn. Like, I feel like they knew they're not going to get renewed. Oh, they said, you know what? Screw this. Let's full send yep. it. We're done here. That's it. Donezo. <laughs> Let's just destroy this. We just did. Fat yeah. ass with one piece. Let's fuck this baby up. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what I heard. <laughs> I, and, and that's essentially what it felt like. And I went in trying to, you know, okay, so you know I'm I'm a big supporter of the anime and the manga and all that. I love it. My jam, right? I went into this thinking, okay, you know what? It's its own project. Let's look at it from fresh eyes and don't try to compare it to the to the anime too much but it was so hard not to mm-hmm. because they didn't explain anything so i had to pull my knowledge from what i already know about it and so like if i already know what's going on and i can sit here and watch it it has a couple redeeming qualities but not enough for me to go back and give it a second watch i will never pick this back up if as a listener you want to go check this out maybe you enjoy it Okay, cool. Let us know, and we'll tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, but I like mean, it, it's, it's so bad. If there's a way to erase it from my recently watch list, yes. I will erase it because I'm embarrassed yes. to even let people know I watched it. Ouch, dude. Honestly, okay. Ouch. So the first two episodes down, I was like, okay, I can maybe give this a watch. I don't know what people on Facebook are pooping about so much. Like it, it's okay so far. It's not great, but it's it's watchable. Third episode hits. I'm like, I'm done. Like I, I don't even want to keep it going. Like, uh, bro, I hated it. I hated it from episode three and to from three to five. I hated. It. Okay, so as is as its own continuity, what would you rate it? One through ten. Let me give it a four. And B- BB, you said like I, I found I, enjoyability out of it, but it does a terrible job explaining what it's doing i i think i'm stuck at a five yeah. wow you know f- and, and five's technically average well that's yeah. what i'm saying because i think the thing that saves it was like the action and then how the characters look for me at least 
but the other five mm-hmm. is because I know where it comes from and it's horrible. I, I can't okay. go higher than five. I'd probably give it a six. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. Even though I only watched one episode, <laughs> zero. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Terrible, dude. Okay, okay dude. so now since we rated it as its own continuity, what would you guys rate it comparing it to the anime, one through ten? I can't compare it. I'm going to go ahead and jump on with Minarm over here. <laughs> zero. Maybe I, 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 I'm with them. Zero to one. The highest I can go is a one. I can't even go that one. I'm, I'm going to give it a solid zero. And, compared and, to and the anime. Again, the thing that's saving it for me just to potentially give it that one is how the characters look. <laughs> Damn. Like I, I tried like I said, you know, if I go in with it fresh eyes, fresh mind, not knowing anything about it, I think they did a terrible job explaining a lot of this stuff. They did a terrible job with so much of it that like I, I can't see myself even rating it average by itself. Not compared. All right. Well, it's like I told Bogus Bird though. I've watched the first episode completely. And there was nothing keeping me from watching the second episode. There was nothing pulling me in. So I was mm. bored out of my mind. I'm not going to get my 55 minutes back in my life. It's just done. I'm done. I can't do two. Yeah. I, that goes against usually my rules, but I mean, that it was terrible. Okay. Okay. If you give it a two or three episode rule, you you might as well just go all the way because there's only yeah. five episodes. I can't do it. <laughs> if somebody, and they cover half of the if series. If somebody you offers know? you a hundred bucks just to watch the five episodes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll do that. But okay, I'm, up, I'm, not, I'm not doing it all my time. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to pay me to watch well, okay. it, pay me to watch it. But I ain't going to watch it on my own. Guns. Hell no. Guns, pay them in. Hey, I just say I was at somebody. I just saying <laughs> scenario. It was painful, man. Yeah. Like, okay, so Minarm, let me put it to you this way. They rush it so much. The anime has 112 episodes in it, right? Mm-hmm. And within these five episodes, they ran through maybe about 60. 50 to yeah, 50 to 60 episodes. That's in these five That's way episodes. too much information. For five episodes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they're yeah. literally doing ten like, episodes and one one episode for every ten. That's way too yeah. much information. Yeah, and and kind of bringing you back to what you said, the way that One Piece did it, they did maybe I'd say maybe about five episodes per one. So you get a good amount of information in each episode, but it keeps you like well informed. It keeps you like on that hook, and it was entertaining. Too. Yeah. And it was entertaining, yeah. yeah. It was it was fun, you know. Mm-hmm. I would I never, never say I like One Piece or love it, but the live action was fun. I enjoyed it. It's, yeah. I went yeah. in thinking, of, like I said, it's going to be the worst watch I've ever watched in my life, and I <laughs> ended up loving it. Like, I bet, 9 I bet, out of 10, 10 out of 10. It was great. I bet you Minarum was yelling out Gamu Gamu with Luffy. No. <laughs> Just yelling it out every single time. It was about a punch. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'll pass. So does Yu Yu have to show? Get the essay files seal of approval? Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> no. I, I couldn't even finish no. it. But... <laughs> wow. Unanimous. You know what? I'm going to give it a second one. I'm going to give it both. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to give it to Zangief. I'm give it to Zangief. No. Uh, no. Zangief will be disappointed in you. <laughs> Bro. You'll Terrible. get suplexed by him if he, he heard you <laughs> give him his mid thumb. Yeah. All right. Well, all right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for us, guys. It is now time to close it down. Please visit us at www.thesfiles.com. We can listen to all of our prior episodes. We talk TV, films, gaming, anime stuff. We just have fun here. We talk trash. We especially do a lot of trash talking, especially uh, this episode. Uh, yeah, big time. <laughs> if you want to email us, Comments, suggestions, questions. All of our links are down at the bottom. Feel free. Shoot gun some pics. He loves those. All the greasy ones, the fat he ones, the chunky <laughs> ones, the greasy, oh. the cheesy ones. <laughs> he loves them all, especially during now, during the holidays. He's doing a special two for one. You send him two pics, and he will send you one <laughs> from behind. Uh-oh. One, one uh. brown eye. He'll send you oh, one brown Lord. eye. One brown two for eye. one special. Christmas only. Yeah. Do not pass up this opportunity. It's December only. 
You suck. <laughs> uh, you're All right. Dude. <laughs> All right. Check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Threads, YouTube. If you want to check out the uncut episodes, you want to hear me and Minarm say uh, fuck. as many times as we did this episode. Cause, damn. <laughs> check us out on Patreon. If you're on the go, guns, you can find us on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, which will be discontinued and replaced by YouTube Music, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and Sweet Sweet Pandora. Love Pandora. Sweet Pandora. Mm. Love it. Delicious. Never said anything bad about Pandora. <laughs> yes. And while you're there, also check out our other podcast, Bro Etiquette, where we cover the pro code. See if it still stands to this modern day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is Bogus Bird signing out. This is Guns Deucing out. This is Aiden K saying see you later. My arm signing out. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Have to say holidays. For real this time, we're taking our two-week break. So we'll see you in 2024. We just couldn't pass this, this right. one up, Merry guys. Merry Christmas, yeah, y'all. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas later. Merry Christmas later.